What is going on, YouTube, man? It is your boy, Epitome, and I am back with another banger behind me. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> bro, I need to calm down sometimes, bro. I feel like I just be doing too much in these introductions, bro. Anyway, what's going on, y'all? Hopefully, you guys have been having a great day. Day. I haven't seen you guys in about a week and for good reason you feel me your boy has been live streaming spider-man 2 by the way is by far like top three games this year I don't care what nobody say y'all need to go ahead and try that game out if you don't have a ps5 buy a ps5 play that game because that junk is hard or at least wait until they release it on pc because I feel like they might I, I don't see why not they did it for the other two games right so I don't see why not. Highly recommend playing that game. If you guys want to watch your boy play it for the first time, there is a section in YouTube called like the live tab or something like that. You guys can go ahead and check out those. It's going to be sitting there. It's going to be like three parts. And yeah, I beat the game. You feel me? I'm probably going to go back and do 100%, but like on off camera, I'm not trying to do that on stream. Today, we are back on that Sword Burst 3, as you can see from the title. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and showcase what it's like being level 25. I got the final sword and the final armor set that you can get from this game. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the entire game i'm gonna showcase everything you know what i'm saying in one video and with that being said i'm probably gonna give you guys some tips and tricks on what i would recommend for you guys to do if you guys are trying to play and so without further ado sit back relax grab you some snacks chill with your boy like up the video subscribe your boy is almost at 2,000 subscribers 2,000 wow 2,000 people bro that's more the capacity to fill up the house that i'm in right now all right so go ahead and subscribe i think i'm like 20 subscribers away or something like that the sub count will be somewhere on the screen subscribe subscribe appreciate you love you so last time i remember that i forgot to put my volume up <laughs> for the video but this time we're gonna put it on so in my honest opinion about this game right after going through it you know going through the entire first floor and everything like that and being level 25 it, which is the max level i like this game you know what i'm saying I, I'm, I'm excited for when the full game cops um comes out and everything like that but it's pretty straightforward it's like all the other sword burst games it does like i said in the first time i played this game it has a uh feeling of both sword burst and world zero and i don't really like that i kind of want it to just be home but y'all wasn't gonna tell me that my hair is tripping bro y'all bugging bro y'all ain't real it's still the combination of both sword burst and world zero he's trying to have world zero in there too to be honest with you i i think it's okay all right i think it's okay i think i'll be okay with it i'm just gonna go through the entire first floor in one video and i'm gonna give you guys tips and tricks as we go along and everything like that about like what you should do for leveling what you should do for gear wise and everything like that and yeah that's pretty much it so when you're level one and you first spawn up in here you feel me you're gonna be right here and everywhere you spawn even if you get to the final floor or get to the boss or everything like that there there's like these little teleporters right here i'm gonna talk about that soon but you will spawn right here on teleport first of all you got three options for well, two options really you got new arcadia i can go ahead and showcase it because it's not really um much to show it's really really just like a it's like a blueprint of what they're about to do with this area pretty sure this is going to be that hub spot for like when you want to go ahead and get like armor and everything like that but for the most part there are no as my friend let me put on my uh speed all right yeah so for the most part there is no nothing here really there's no no npcs that you can buy armor from none of that you guys can go ahead and explore and uh look around you know it just to give you guys an idea about what it's going to be like when the full game releases so right here is a waystone it's a place that you can use to teleport from one place in the map to the other all right i highly recommend that when you guys play for the first time you guys make sure that you you know get these every time you see them activate them because you're not going to want to walk from one side of the map all the way to the next so as you can see you can teleport from here into the entrance you feel me and then you can go ahead teleport back to where i was at you know what i'm saying so yeah this is this is very, like this is very very nice i think this might be like a little pvp area that you can go to eventually but other than that yeah man it's not really much you can do um you can do the uh the enhancements and the uh smithing you can do that they got a couple of swords like the beginner stuff but you can pretty much get these swords in the first floor so there's not really much you can like get nothing really important the orange armor and the bronze gray sword were two swords that you can get on the first floor these are all things you can get on the first floor even the sky prince you know what i'm saying what is that the royal blade same thing same thing but yeah you can go ahead and upgrade and you can enchant i'm gonna talk about that soon um when we get back to the first floor because there's something i want to there's a tip that i want to give you guys so yeah that's pretty much it there's not really much inside of this map in new arcadia they have a couple of npcs here and there that you can talk to they probably have like little lore of the game or something like that the manager attraction is on floor one floor two is not out yet it's gonna come out in the beta and i'm pretty sure that the beta is gonna come out next month in november so in floor two i'll probably give you guys a little showcase of that too as well all right so welcome back to the first floor when you first enter you're gonna be here the first thing you're gonna want to do of course is get this waypoint 
all right get this waypoint it's not gonna be important as you get later into the floor but you know what i'm saying if you want to come back you know over here instead of having to run all the way in like from the dungeon area all the way back here you could just teleport you know what i'm saying just teleport make it easier for yourself work smarter not harder so the first thing i recommend that you do is get the waist on and then after that you talk to this beginner trainer she's gonna give you the first quest of the first floor um you're gonna go ahead and just get the quest right here new adventure and basically she's gonna tell you to go ahead and kill five boars all right so i probably can one tap these guys yeah it's not that hard you kill five of these guys get back to her and then you go ahead and get that quest completed and that's pretty much it you're gonna want to keep uh spamming that quest over and over again remember this is an rpg grind game okay this isn't something that's gonna be like quick fast and hurry you gotta take your time go ahead and grind and all that and all that extra shit also i recommend behind the house you get this chest i think they give you a uh what is this they give you an amethyst amethyst are going to be important later i'll talk about that in a sec so yeah man that's pretty much it you're just going to keep grinding that mission going to go through all the boards and everything like that and then the next mission that you're going to go and do is going to be the person right over here in this corner however as you're going through the the pathway right now you're going to see that there's like an upgrade se section all right this is what i recommend that you guys do all right because of the fact that this is the first floor and you're an alpha i do not recommend that you waste your amethyst on this on like the level one sword do not waste your do not waste it that's a waste of resources right and when you get to like freaking aquamarine it's going to be even harder to get stuff to craft and make your sword better and everything like that what i recommend that you do is go through the entire first floor get to the boss and get the best weapon of that floor whatever it may be so like for this might even be relevant for when the game fully comes out from what i learned or other rpgs and stuff like that it doesn't make any sense to upgrade weapons that are level one or level 10 and the max level is like level 50 right it doesn't make any sense i'd rather you save that the resources and use it towards the max level armor right it makes the most sense so for example this armor which i'm going to talk about later on how to get and this sword are the best sword and weapons with or the best items and equips that you can get in the game as of right now right so i would recommend that you save these resources and you put it towards the best armor for the floor now i am not 100 percent sure what the max level is that you can enhance your weapons uh with i've seen somebody say level 10 but i don't think so i think the max level would be whatever your level is right so like for example the max level is 25 so i think that you can enhance your weapons to level 25 you get what i mean so i'm not 100 percent sure we would have to experiment probably when a full game comes out i'll probably figure that out but i'm not gonna grind the these these right here these aquamarines and get these weapons and things to level 25 because it's taken a minute for me to even get these to like six and five so yeah but enchanting and and um, upgrading your weapons is very very important if you want to go ahead and dominate the game especially in pvp i don't know how effective these enchantment things will be but in pvp you can easily just probably one tap somebody who they might have the base version of this armor and weapon but you got the like enhanced it to 25 so your jump might be even way more op than him your armor might be OP, you might got crazy health, all that extra stuff. To recap, I basically just think that you should make sure that you just get the best armor and weapon in that floor as of whatever um, floor you're on. So let's say that months from now, right? Floor three comes out, the full game comes out and it's floor three. I don't recommend that you get on um, first floor boss armor, which is which would be this one, maxed out. Don't worry about that. Just get what you can, get to the last floor, whatever the latest floor is, and then after that, put all your resources towards that weapon. You get what I mean? Common sense, use your, use your brain, use your brain. So after you get the upgrade, um, well, not, not get that through. After you see this, there's gonna be a chest right here. You can go ahead and get that chest. I believe they give you, they draw you uh one of these swords i think i don't remember i think i think one of these swords they drop just if you see a chest just grab it there's no reason not to grab it and there's gonna be another waypoint you want to go ahead and grab that as well and then this guy is gonna be the next mission that you do his name is minor ichigo you go ahead and get that quest he's basically gonna have you kill these turtles right here basically just keep doing this quest until you get to level three once you get to level three he's gonna open up this cave right here for you right another thing i recommend that you do there's gonna be a little oh, what would i call this a bow house i don't know but it's gonna be a little area over here you're gonna want to come to this section grab that chest over there and there's going to be another chest right in this corner right here you're going to want to grab that as well i believe they give you uh amethyst so you get to use the amethyst for when you want to upgrade your weapons right so boom you know what i'm saying you got your you got your amethyst you got your mission finished and you're going to go through this cave right here you're going to go through this cave and there's going to be a bunch of amethyst mines all right so these these are important for the first couple weapons right so these right here first you're going to start grinding these amethysts you're going to get drops from these for these amethysts right here from the mobs and everything like that and the bosses but eventually when you get to the end of the floor you're going to end up getting these legendary armors and stuff like that i think this one also and instead of getting amethyst drops you're going to end up getting aquamarine drops which i'll show you guys later but for this one right now they're going to be having you grind the amethyst right you can go ahead and take your time with it 
I don't recommend it. Don't even waste your time. It doesn't make any sense for me. So once you get through the cave, you're going to get your first armor. I highly recommend that you just go ahead and cop this armor. You should be able to have enough money if you did the missions enough. You should be having, you should have enough money to be able to shop for this armor right here. It's going to only be 400, not a lot. Just go ahead and cop that. Do yourself, a, do yourself some service. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and copy this right here. You got to be level four for it as well. And also get this bronze great sword. Just, just get the, just get the set. Remember what I said about these enchantments. Don't worry about the, uh, not enchantments, these upgrades. Don't worry about the upgrades right now just get the weapons and just use that if you feel like the grind is taking too long and you really really want to just get through these mobs faster then you can go ahead and upgrade at that point i would understand and then here you go let me go ahead and show you guys the enchantment system so enchantment basically is self-explanatory you choose whatever item that you want to enchant so i'm going to choose something cheap uh let's choose this iron long sword right because i'm never going to use it you got to get the pure version of whatever material that you have so for example um, for now, it's going to be the amethyst, and then later it's going to be pure aquamarine, right? But you need the pure material to go ahead and enchant, but you only need the regular material to upgrade. You know what I mean? All right, cool. So yeah, for example, this, you can use amethyst to upgrade it from level one, level one, level two, level three, etc., etc. Et and for enchanting, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. For example, the iron long sword, you get a pure amethyst or you get a pure, pure aquamarine. You press enchant for only 30 vel. You enchant it, and basically what happens is it does like a random spin, basically, and you'll be able to get, okay, so uh, SP regen, plus 40. So that means basically when you equip this right here, when you use an ability, like this for example, your regen is going to go up pretty, it's way faster than regular, all right? So there you go. Um, movement speed, your movement speed goes up faster, uh, attack, these are pretty much self-explanatory, you, you deal more damage, HP regen, your health goes up faster, uh, max HP, you get more health, critical, when you do critical hits, because there is such thing as critical hits in this game, uh, you get a 10% chance increase of doing more critical hits, SP regen, your SP goes up higher, or not goes up higher, it regens faster, uh, critical damage, there you go. So critical damage, basically, your crit damage is higher and crit plus 10 basically means that the chances of you critting or doing critical damage goes up higher as well by 10 percent so if you somehow get this up to like 100 percent somehow <laughs> you get to uh get basically critical basically 100 percent of the time you get what i mean uh burst power stamina all that is basically self-explanatory you get what i mean and then here's also this girl the chef trainer she's not usable yet but basically you can go ahead and talk to her for you hi can i cook cooking is being added to the game to check back soon uh what would the food do food will restore hp sp or apply buffs there you go so you know what i'm saying it your sp and hp will regen back up as you go through the game but you probably can use an item or something like that when you're in the middle of like a boss fight if your health is not going up fast enough just go ahead and pop yourself some chicken you know what i'm saying some kfc chicken you know what i'm saying whatever this is right here your health will probably go back up or you might get a buff a damage buff you never know and then over here if you want to use either a great sword or a regular sword here's your your list of weapons that you can use you got the the royal blade the sky prince which is the og hardest drop to get now they made it easy for you to get the sky prince the bronze blade the steel great sword the four great sword advocate um i recommend getting great swords great swords i believe do more damage so just go ahead and just do yourself some service unless you get dual wielding if you get dual wielding i'm pretty sure you can get like double sky prints or double whatever and you can do more damage you feel me next thing you do you go and talk to merchant steve he's gonna have you fight these wolves you know what i'm saying he's gonna complain about being a merchant i already did my rant on that <laughs> but anyway yeah so he's gonna have you fight wolves he's pretty much gonna have you do the same thing as you did with the tur turtles you're just gonna kill five of them get to a certain level i believe it was five kill them again he's gonna have you kill 10 of them and when you kill them and you finish the quest this right here is going to get built it was destroyed previously and then it's going to be built you're going to see the animation when you finish the second mission that he gives you and then you keep moving on up there's a little waste stone go ahead and get the waste stone don't do yourself a disservice you feel me and then over here there is more better armor and weapons the padded armor and then the mega slab go ahead and pick those up once you get to level eight and nine um, you're going to talk to Hunter's Lyra, and it's just basically the same thing over and over again. She's going to talk to you. She's going to give you one quest to kill the bears. It's going to take a little bit. You're going to be here for a little minute. Kill these bears. These bears are pretty, pretty OP. They're, they're OP, so kind of be careful from the level that you're at. I can slice through these guys faster now because of the sword that I got. There's no secrets over here, I'm pretty sure. I think there might be a chest around here. I think I, I think I saw one around here on accident. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. But if you see one, grab it, you feel me? Just grab the chest. Just get everything, you know what I'm saying? the chests don't keep respawning once you get it the first time it's over it's wraps why are you chasing me you want to die there you go see as you can see the, the, he just dropped an amethyst as you keep going through the mobs just keep grabbing the amethyst man then you got to keep going through the path there's gonna be another bear right here don't worry about him go ahead and smack him boom 
That section right there, I'm gonna tell you about that in a second, cause I had made a video on it. When I first played the game, I was trying to, I was like very, very confused about what that area was for or where that area was, but then I figured it out. There's another waystone for you. Get the waystone. Don't do your, don't do yourself a disservice. Get the waystone. So then these things right here, these raw golems, you're gonna wanna go run past them, all right? Cause they're gonna be useless for for now until you go get the quest from from the lady over there. You're gonna run over this bridge right here. Go ahead and get you the waystone. Don't even, don't do yourself a disservice. And you're gonna talk to Minor Sakura, right? She's gonna talk about her brother. Her brother is gonna be probably inside of the mines, but you'll figure that out later. She's gonna give you two quests. This is the one that's gonna give you the two quests. First mission, Rocky Foes. You're gonna be fighting those rock golems, and then after you get to level 10, you can do Blasting Rocks. Blasting Rocks is actually gonna be your first boss battle, right? And I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you the location of where the boss battle will be at, because finding him was annoying. But before you do that, while you're fighting the golems at level nine, you're gonna wanna come over here, come to this waterfall, this thing, you can run through it, and then you're gonna end up finding Finding this chest right here this chest is gonna end up dropping this weapon right no not this weapon it's gonna drop tidal wave um go ahead and put that on but in order for you to use it you got to be level 16 so it might be a little minute before you get to use it that's okay just have any inventory so that when you do turn level 16 it'll be the best weapon that you have in your arsenal you're gonna want to go ahead and just jump up here to get up out of the water and you're gonna want to keep fighting the golems over and over again until you get to the level to do the boss so now as you can see this is gonna be the first major use of the waystone right <laughs> you get to use the waystone to get yourself back over to that area right there so you don't have to run all the way over there see like i'm over here right now and this is the next area you're just gonna want to go ahead and just teleport use that to teleport and then you're gonna run when you get the second mission this is the location of the boss you're gonna run over here and you're gonna want to go ahead and pass through these you're gonna see the bones and stuff like like that is basically and indicating that he killed them and stuff like that and you're gonna go against hagen he's gonna drop these three i'm gonna i can go ahead and fight him for you for this video why not it's a full guide he's gonna drop these three right here this one right here these are not crazy percentages don't even worry about this 20 22 25 percent these are cake compared to the other percentages that you can get right so let me go ahead and uh get through him right quick when he gets level 25 it's easy boom just like that and he's dead so then i think he dropped the sword there you go rose bite see it wasn't that hard for me to get it you can go ahead and get rose bite 22 percent drop easy kill him you can keep um you only can do this boss fight one time the mission itself you can only do it once but the boss fight itself you can do it multiple times it doesn't matter all right so yeah boom just keep grinding him at, uh grinding him out get the drops you feel me because you're gonna want to get that rose bite you know it's a really good weapon for the for the level that you're gonna be at and then after that you're gonna want to go back here use the waystone you feel me it's a, just do your yourself a, do yourself a service use the waystone talk to sakura complete the mission and then this is going to open up all right and this is when you get towards end game you just beat the first side boss and this is end game right here so boom it's a cave right here this is a guy named fred he's gonna give you the mission glowing board he's it's just the same thing all right same thing remember this is a grind game it's not a game where everything is going to be easy you have to grind take your time on the game it's going to be a little bit of a process put a youtube video on you know listen to some music that help pass the time and you're just going to keep grinding the glowing boars keep doing that over and over again i think he's going to ask you to kill like five of them or something like that and these things also drop pure amethyst right pure amethyst remember is very very important because if you want to enchant the higher level weapons you're going to have to have the pure material and in this case it's going to be pure amethyst bro can you leave me alone so you're going to be using pure amethyst to basically upgrade probably this rose bite right here if you want to enchant it like i said don't recommend it there's no point um, unless you really like that weapon and you want to enchant it to make it OP, maybe up to the level of like these right here, then you can, I guess, I'm not knocking you for it, but if you're just trying to get the highest level as fast as possible, get the best gear, I don't recommend wasting your time doing all that. Go ahead, just keep grinding them. The crystal board is going to take a little bit. Like I said, put some music on, listen to, watch a YouTube video, put on a podcast, something to pass the time, put on a I Epitone video. You know what I'm saying? As you go through the cave, the first thing you're going to see is this thing that says beware pretty much this is going to be the next boss that you're going to see there's another side boss um there's two side bosses and i think one main boss right this boss drops these armor right here right these weapons and armor are very very good um this boss it's in in itself is actually pretty difficult he's not that easy to go against by myself so i'm gonna try if i die it is what it is let's see if i can solo him maybe i could be a kitty there real quick and solo him out i think i might be able to there you go yeah, I think I my health regens fast enough for me to be able to do it by myself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me grab the uh let me grab this uh this weapon right here. Or this move right here. Basically this move allows I'm gonna I'm gonna go through all the moves actually. Let me let me not. I'm gonna go through all the moves and I'm gonna show you exactly what each of them do. I think I can solo him actually. Uh tip that I have for bosses. Uh always try to find the opening, you feel me? They have like see like this swipe right here was perfect because it takes a minute before he gets back into like oh 
be careful and then this animation right here is a good time for you to hit him use the dash to utilize the dash you feel me because you're gonna want to get out of them red circles as fast as you can and you can't run out fast enough it hit pretty hard though i ain't gonna lie to you get him right here again let me go ahead and put that over there there you go and he's gonna die by me i'm just like that you feel me so yeah that's the boss uh like i said tips for defeating the boss is you're gonna want to be a decent level it's not gonna be easy for you to just do it by yourself especially if you're at level 16 the boss is level 20 like he might be able to do it by himself i don't i kind of doubt it but you can try your best to <laughs> go ahead and solo him or you can just get a party or something like that to fight him and then after that if you can, if you want to you don't have to you can pass by that boss it's not a must for you to uh, fight that boss whatever weapon that you have previously um that it'll probably be enough for you to get through this all right so yeah beat the boss you get to the end of the cave and boom now you're really at the end game section right because after this you're going to end up reaching this tower right here and that tower is going to be the first dungeon that you're going to go through you get the enchantment area again um oh as a matter of fact i think i could no i'm not going to enchant it because i have a sp regen which is needed and i got crit so <laughs> that's pretty useful for me actually so boom you get through the cave get your waypoint you know what i'm saying get your waypoint and you're going to talk to blossom blossom it's the same thing again that's one thing that people complain about when it comes to this game but the way i think about it is it's an rpg game it's gonna grind it's gonna take some grinding to get to the top level it's not gonna be easy just suck it up bro <laughs> just suck it up this is, it's an rpg game and it's in this alpha stage for an alpha i think it's pretty nice all right it's not bad they, there you go you got the river armor and cave armor i don't think you can get these right away you think you're gonna be like uh like under leveled so keep grinding her mission until you and just keep fighting these uh these mooses right here and you'll eventually be able to get these, all right? Uh, Cherry Blossom is a very good sword. I don't recommend getting this Prima Prism. I mean, you can once it gets to level 14, but Cherry Blossom is a good sword for this. And then obviously getting the cave armor. That'll be the best two weapons and armor that you can, or the best armor weapon that you can get for this area in specific. So yeah, you're gonna keep fighting this moose right here these mooses level up you know what i'm saying just grind put on some youtube if you need to take a couple of days to grind i understand if you don't want to know life this game you don't got to it took me a, like a like two weeks or something like that to get to 25 because i don't sit and just play this game straight unless i'm really trying to get something but yeah just put on something just to pass the time and then before you know it once you get uh stronger weapons better abilities you'll be able to get yourself you'll be able to just kill these guys fast as hell and you won't die as fast right then after you finish that mission you get to the level that you need to get to which i believe it's 20 in the beginning of the first mission when you ask the question about what level you have to be to get to the dungeon they lied to you you're not supposed to be level 15 you actually need to be level 20 to get through this thing and i'm gonna show it to you actually as a matter of fact let me go ahead and just get up here real quick all right so boom you get up here you're all the way up here and there's gonna be a guy called alpha adventurer right talk to him he's gonna give you a quest right it's gonna be the so see as you can see level 20 you gotta be level 20 in order to do it level 15 in the beginning that was a lie you gotta be level 20 he's gonna give you that quest when you finish that quest it's gonna be a quest that tells you to go back and kill 10 more moose so that's where the the waypoints come in handy you feel me use the waypoint teleport back to hold on where is it at you teleport back over here you know what i'm saying and then you get to get and kill the moose. Now, if you didn't get the waypoint, guess what? Now you gotta run all the way back down the path, you feel me, and get back to the moose. And you don't wanna have to do that. So after you kill the 10 moose, you can come back to the teleporter, boom, warp, and then you can talk to the offer adventurer, and then he's gonna open, you're gonna complete the quest, and then he's gonna open this gate for you. And this is gonna be your first dungeon. Congratulations, you grinded your way to the top. And this is the true end game, right? So you get through the dungeon, boom, here you go. You gotta activate this, please activate it, all right? And then you're gonna see Amber. Go ahead and talk to Amber. She got the advocate with the second side boss armor. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the quest. Minion hunt. You got to be level 20 to do it. These are the minions right here. All right. Um, the, the minions aren't hard either. These are the minions right here. Level 22. You get to just go ahead and kill them they're gonna ask you to kill i think about like 10 of them i think or five five or ten one of those just like the other missions you go through this room that you, that i went through right here and there's gonna be a chest you're gonna want to grab that i believe it's just vel or one of these just go ahead and grab it the more the merrier you know what i'm saying after you finish that mission you're gonna want to keep running just follow the path it's relatively easy to get through this it's not hard to get through the first dungeon um also the green stuff it doesn't kill you so if you fall over it's okay just double jump up and you'll be able to get up there so yeah you're gonna want to kill the soldier boar um boars and then after that that's the direction that you have to go to to get to the to the dungeon boss but you can come to this room uh it's just more boards and stuff like that i don't believe oh there is a chest over here yes yeah, so. let me go ahead and grab this real quick because i didn't get it forgot to grab it actually 
you get aquamarine awesome awesome see the more the merrier right so boom you're gonna want to get through here pass through all these boards and then you just want to jump through the obstacle course follow through the path let's see if there's a chest over here there is a chest over here i didn't grab it i seen it i just didn't grab it they drop you another aquamarine you're gonna go ahead and pass through here it's very so uh, very very straightforward it's not like um the floor two maze on Fo sword burst two i think it was i think it was floor two i'm not sure it's pretty straightforward i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a maze and when there is a maze best believe your boy got you with the maze you're gonna be in a cave now there's gonna be these snakes they spit poison by the way so they're gonna cut you and then when you see this just know they're about to spit poison gives you poison damage it doesn't do crazy damage but it's okay you're gonna want to just keep following through the path if you guys want to grind some type of material right this material aquamarine is something that i do recommend that you get i do recommend that you grind that if you want to max these out a little bit faster there's another chest over here by the way you can go ahead and grab that so you also get something called the noble cavalier i see i didn't know about that now i learned so <laughs> there goes another sword for you right there noble cavalier level 21 attack 508 right it's a very good that's a very good sword for level 21 right you're gonna want to get it i'm going to showcase it to you guys real quick it's a pretty nice looking sword i love the models of the new swords by the way they look really nice go ahead and use that thing about those swords though i don't know if they're gonna be able to give it to you later or something like that for you to buy but once you get them you can't use them as a dual wield you have to use something else so go ahead and kill these guys real quick boom the snakes also drop aquamarine so you're going to want to grab that as well i do recommend that if you're trying to go ahead and level up these swords grind out this aquamarine you're going to take the pickaxe by pressing two and drop they give you one aquamarine so boom there you go i believe these basilisks also have a chance of dropping the uh pure aquamarine so you're going to want to grab those as well get past the bas basilisks they take a long time to hit so you can just run past them and then literally when you jump over here they can't follow you so <laughs> i think we're approaching the dungeon room soon oh we have to hit this u-turn first there's another chest for you right there so go ahead and grab that and boom there's a dungeon right so you're finally at the end of floor one all right so after that he's gonna give you another quest this alpha adventure guy is gonna give you another quest it's gonna be the quest to kill more snakes i think it's like 10 or 15 one of those i think you're gonna kill this the final boss is gonna be right here um, after you complete that final boss quest, the doors are gonna open and boom, you are at the dungeon area. This area looks so pretty. Like this is the best looking place in the entire uh, first floor right now. The the shade changes, as y'all looks real nice. So yeah, you're gonna keep going through down, down here, go down the stairs, get over to the gate and boom, welcome to the, the boss room, right? It's a very, very nicely made place. Very, very nice. You're gonna wanna make sure that when you get here, make sure that you pass through this gate right here because there's no way for you to join the fight after it opens. So yeah, make sure you pass that gate if you want to wait around. Here you are. This is end game right here. These are the three best weapons and armor that you can get inside of uh, floor one for the alpha. Now I had the chance, I actually got lucky and I was able to get both of these in one single drop, right? Like I'm, I think on my like second time killing them, I got both of these at the same time. This one right here is the hardest weapon to get. Um, I have a bunch of these now. Getting the armor is not that difficult. As long as you got like a party of like, like maybe four, you can grind through this guy easily. We're going to try to kill him, two of us. Um, I was able to kill him with somebody before. So let's see if I can do it. I think I can show it to you guys. Oh yeah, tip for him. He's going to drop his sword on the floor. And when he drops his sword and does the animation, he's going to do the spin, right? So when that does happen, make sure that you just uh, go ahead and just weave. Just dodge it. Just dodge it. He's pretty easy to kill though. He does a lot of moves that leaves him an opening. So when he does that, so see, he dropped the sword. Just back up. Just dash dash is uh to dash you have to press q okay so cool between two people you should be able to kill this guy relatively easily actually especially if you guys have uh strong swords and stuff like that it shouldn't be that hard to kill i'm gonna speed it up for you guys real quick and there you go he's dead just like that you know it's pretty easy um the drop rating is pretty hard that's another thing that kind of discouraged kusama when he played this game uh the drop ratings for these right here can take a little minute just like i said put on a youtube video put on a stream watch your favorite youtuber like your boy epitome and uh <laughs> just vibe out man sit back relax and just just grind you know what i'm saying so let me go ahead and show you guys the actual the abilities actually real quick we got these abilities right here i'm gonna go ahead and showcase them to you these two are things that can just give you like a buff right so for the first things first this is the first ability, easy slash. Everybody knows that when you have a sword burst game, that has to be an ability that you have to have in your arsenal. So that's cake. Um, this move right here, R, it's like a cyclone spin. This guy, these guys are gonna be pretty annoying to fight against. It's called Whirlwind, and the other one was called Energy Cleave. Pretty self-explanatory. Character just does a spin. 
this is probably like the best move in the game right now i love that move it does so much damage um the next move is gonna be what flurry right so this is what it looks like you just do a flurry of sword attacks leave me alone linear thrust just like in the what the first couple episodes of sword burst um not sword burst sword on the line the idiot does this he just dashes and just stabs them and then after that you got these two other buffs right here basically this is regeneration regeneration basically regens your health for um as you upgrade it it increases your uh your duration of the regen and then this one also is the agility one basically gives you a speed boost so i'm gonna go ahead and take some damage take some damage again damn them boys hit hard so yeah you press F and your health and SP regens way faster. And then if you press X, your speed goes up faster. So, and if you hold uh, control while you have that sh uh, agility ability on, you get to run way faster. Then after that, you have the greatsword abilities. Let me go ahead and put them on for you. You got Fisher, you got Whirlwind, Regeneration, and then Meteor Strike. Fisher, basically, you take the greatsword, slide it on the floor, and it does like a Fisher, basically. Rocks goes up. It does really decent damage as well. Rowan is not exclusive to Great Sword. It's also on the one hand sword category too. Next one, the Meteor Strike. Basically, you do like a jump, spin, and then you just slam the floor. There's pretty good damage as well. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Spin. I believe that the spin also does damage too. It's not just a flashy move. And then Dual Wielding has a move too. Um, it just has one uh two moves actually. Dual Flurry, unleash a 10 hit combo attack with each hit dealing 50% damage to each target. Dual Flurry, I'm pretty sure, is basically when uh, you just do like crazy combos with both hands. I don't have dual wielding because I'm trying to still figure out a reason to justify spending $10 on dual wielding right now. And then Venom Strike, leap forward, dealing massive damage with a single strike. So I'm pretty sure you just take two of your swords, jump forward, and then just hit them with your sword, I guess. Um, if you see anybody on YouTube with the dual wielding, just go ahead and just check it out. I'm pretty sure they do the moves anyway. So yeah, that's literally Sword Burst 3. The full game for now. The beta comes out in February. I'm pretty, I'm not February, November, I'm pretty sure. And when that comes out, I'll give you guys a floor two guide as well. If you guys don't want to buy Sword Burst 3 and you guys don't feel like you want to spend five bucks and you just want to know what the game is like, this is a great video for you guys to know what is inside of the game. That is basically everything, right? There's no secrets. There's nothing like that yet. If you guys got any questions regarding this game and you guys want to know like something, some small detail that I might have missed within the game, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely give you guys tips and tricks on or give you guys advice or answers to whatever question you may have. If there is anything that i did miss and you guys have played sword burst 3 and you guys want to go ahead and help people out type in the comment section man it's a community we're trying to help each other out and other than that that's pretty much sword burst 3 thank you guys so much for spending the time to you know chill out with your boy i'm up out of here it's benny boy epitome and i'm signing out peace